So the first thing to make sense of this is when we're looking at this, guys, the first thing I would say, again, if you're like struggling at least to conceptualize it, plot the points. So p is at 1, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Q is at negative 7, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And positive 1. OK. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't write. I didn't tell you. Oh, that's kind of a bad issue. I didn't tell you where we were going, right? Are we going p to q or q to p, right? We're going. So write the component formula and find the magnitude of, let's just do pq. Let's keep it consistent. OK? So we want to find the component form here of this. All right? Now, um, again, if we kind of label, here's our initial point. Since we're doing p to q, that means here is our start, right? And here's our end. So in doing that, I'm going to label this as my x1. And here's my y1. And this will be my x2 and my y2, because those are like the second points. Now, previously, it didn't really matter which one you did, right? It didn't matter where you're going one way to the other. But vectors, it matters. It matters where you start, right? Starting here to here is different than going from there to there. Same distance, right? But the direction is now different. You guys agree? Mm -hmm. Right? So it's, it's important to understand where your starting point, where your end point is. Now, if we want to write this in component form, again, per our notes, we can just find the difference of x2 minus x1 comma y2 minus y1, which is basically finding, when doing that, again, all, all that's really doing, this is y2 minus y1. This is x2 minus x1. It's basically just finding the lengths of your triangle. I mean, that's really what, that, what that's doing. So when we do this, I have a negative 7 minus 1, and I have a 1 minus 5. So therefore, my component form is negative 8 comma negative 4. OK, that is my component form. Now what's nice about doing that is once I have something in component form, I can simply just use this. Like basically, this is saying negative 8 and negative 4. Well, guys, I can just do the Pythagorean theorem, basically, right? So I can say pq, the magnitude of pq is simply the square root of negative 8 squared plus negative 4 squared, right? And that's basically the formula that we have over there. Huh? I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean if I wanted to label this v, sure, right? Magnitude. I'm just like giving you an example. There's different ways we label vectors. Right now, I'm just talking about vector as an initial and a terminal point. But I could call v a different number. We'll do an example of that too. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to I'm just going to continue with this notation. So therefore, we have square root of 64 plus 16 equals the square root of 80. And then I want to say, what square numbers divides into 80? Looks like 16 does, and it goes in there. 16, 4. 16, 4. So that's the same thing as square root of 16 times 5. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the component form as well as the magnitude. Right? So we got to memorize this formula? Oh, yeah. Do we have to give it to us? No. Is it on your formula sheet? Is it on your formula sheet? Nope.